He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of them. I was wrong. I feel like Darwin is misunderstanding everything. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call they you call a sun you god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> He's got a very good sense of humor there. I like him. <laughs> I like him very much. Quite a place you've got here. You can only <clears throat> see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. <laughs> Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. People like to see change some, immediate. like Durval, will never let go of their venom. And some are just too tunnel visioned in the past there to really accept that type of change. They think it's impossible. I'm not one such to believe that it's impossible. What can you what tell can you me tell about me the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out the fortress of Sunfar to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. <laughs> Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. You got it, Murad. Oh, by the way. Founding of Meridian. Scribes Book of Carefully Copied Clips. <clears throat> the Founding of Meridian. We are Karja. In us is the blood of those led by Araman from persecution and pursuit so long ago. Out of the far savage east we came, guardians of a gr treasure greater than land or metal. The leaves of the old ones. Our man found the leaves in a ruin, picked out by a beam of sunlight, and he recognized at once their importance. Within was etched the first teachings of how to observe the sun, to recognize its guidance, to understand the place of man. From out of the leaves came the first glyphs, the rough first writing, so our knowledge could last longer than voices. But when our forefathers offered to share this gift, they were driven out by those they had once called tribesfolk. These ones feared to have the light of knowledge brought to bear on their ignorance, or were jealous of its power. And so began the long wandering of our people, trusting, that, trusting only that the sun would guide them and deliver them from the barbarian tribes. The path was hard, marked by the stones of families who fell along the wayside, even our man's own. The persecution was unceasing from 
those without pursuit, only the desire to debase and destroy. But the faith of the Karja was rewarded with a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of the sun, holding on to the horizon, holding on the horizon, flashing. Even as their enemies descended upon them, our man followed the flight of the Glindhawks, leading his people through looming canyons and teeming jungles. Again they saw the tower, so close now it seemed, to reach the very sun itself, and they saw that the Glindhawks perched upon it. Beheld in the light of the sun, the tower, the spire, cast its long shadow upon a mesa across the verdant valley. Araman knew he had found a haven for the tribe, as this was a place shunned by those without his faith, who cowered from the magnificence of the spire or the shining feathers of the Glinthawks. He named this place Meridian, from a passage in the leaves, and the tribe settled in the protection of the Great Mesa. They found the site was blessed in every respect, carving their cliff houses from the bounteous resources, and in time from the red rock of the Mesa itself, crowning it with the first columns of the City of the Sun. Truly the sun gave much to the descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvests and prosperity, and the bounds of the sundom for as far as its light touched. In time, seeing Meridian shielded us from the dark arrows and plots of our foes, other foreigners bought, bought trade and tribute. Holy Meridian! Without spire and... Holy Meridian! Without spire and sun, there would be no meridian, but now and forevermore it stands as a mon as monument to both. And the glory of our man and the founders is reflected anew in each sun king of the radiant line and the noble houses of the sun court. Tail. This is a fair distance. Ah, so that's where we're heading. Alright, so... Where is the best place to go, then? Looks like it's gonna be up through... Up this exit here, up through this path... And then turn right at the fork here, at the end. Way up. Back into pitch cliff. Of course. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister, and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but... <laughs> let go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. <laughs> right then. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah. Those two got along. And some people say they're shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, so that is my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I enjoy the banter of this scene <laughs> for, for it being post-apocalyptic here. Gorilla puts some very nice banter in all of this here, and I thoroughly enjoy it. And it's, it keeps bringing a smile to my face every single time here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in pitch cliff, okay? Person needs us. Couldn't dream of it. Oh my lord. Hey, Law. How can I be of service? It's <clears> obvious <throat> that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is the. Always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him... to his enemies. It was the best I could do... for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Hmm. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. <laughs> so they say. Yeah. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. Mm -hmm. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirom are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you describe, who hate Ursa so... More than one? Not likely. Durba? Quite probable. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. Uh, uh, some people like to play their own death. So I definitely see where he's coming from. In that regard. I don't think Aloy's learned that yet. I have to go. Then you must. Then you must. the Sun Kings. Chronicle of the Sun Kings. <clears throat> the founder, Araman, who guided our forefathers from the shadows of the savage east into the fastness of the Mesa Valley, and who, reading the signs of sun and shadow both, delivered them to the sight of Holy Meridian. The Bountia Samavad, who oversaw the clearing and sowing of the royal Maeslands so that none who walked in the sun's favor should go hungry again who cut back the jewel to claim the rich statements for the first houses of the Sun Court. The far-seeing Sa Sadaim expanded the Sun's dominion to the north, south, and east, setting a gate at Bright Market Harbor, and who before the Sun at its highest proclaimed these lands would be known as the Karja Sundom. So by the light it was good. What about the West? Generous Juwadan, who stocked the metal markets with the spoils of his own trampler hunts, who allowed trade from north and south, even permitting outlanders the gift of the counting lifts so they might understand more than simple barter. Zavarad, the pilgrim Sun King, whose tower was raised to the top of the ridge of Vales and who crossed the great waters of the Daybreak. So the Sundom might extend even further, and to honor this passage had the great blazon arch raised on the far shores. <clears throat> Bol Eriv. Eriv, who saw the sun's passing into the west as a challenge, and forged after it with a great army, I know about the west, to be pushed back 